Hello viewers, welcome back. This is the 12 gauge butt cuff that I'm working on and I've created a template and I've taken a look at this and one thing that I did not like about this butt cuff was the interior again um, snaps have the potential to scratch on natural wood and these are natural wood butt stocks that these shotguns have and so that's that's not going to work out even though whoever made this did a good job of um, the overlap if you look on the back you can still see that this part of the um, snap will eventually leave a mark on the wood and can potentially take off not only some of the clear coat but also some of the color underneath and that's going to be a no-go. You'll also notice here that uh, even though they made the loops in a manner the same manner that I would um, you see that they didn't skive the inside of the leather so it's pretty a pretty thick leather here and didn't lay down I'm not sure what they were thinking with this plastic piece maybe they were thinking of some rigidity that uh, they wanted more rigidity up at the front but uh, that I'm gonna obviously eliminate and here I don't know how close this will get I don't know if you can see the sewing on this um, the cheek pad was a great idea but unfortunately they just didn't execute well on the cheek cheek piece so um, I'll have to redo that and then of course depending on what the customer wants I mean this is pretty soft this is actually I don't know what they put in here but uh, that's that's a pretty soft cheek piece so I asked the customer if they were comfortable with that being so soft or they wanted something a little firmer obviously if you get a good cheek weld that's better for your shot placement and so here's what I got so far um, this is going to be an outside layer of probably uh, five ounce uh, veg tan leather this is going to be the violin type cheek piece the customer wanted it to come over the comb um, and then of course go down and then taper uh, although that's not a final um, shape of that cheek piece I'm gonna send a picture of this to the customer and see what they think of this as a matter of fact I'm probably getting ready to do a semi mock-up because I'll use um, I'll cut the sides of this and this will be the actual butt um, piece that I'll place in there and glue it together. I'll have to devise a system where the buckles sit on top of this leather and there's a minimal chance of them impacting the wood at all. So, uh, because nobody wants scratched wood. You don't want your butt cuff to scratch up your butt stock. Uh, that's, that's the whole purpose of a butt pad. Carry shells and to prevent uh, wear and tear on your butt stock because in, in reality this is a um, durable but expendable piece you know if, if it gets all cut up that would be unfortunate but it's much better for this to get cut up than the actual butt stock where you would have to spend hours sanding it down and then reapplying uh, varnish and uh, clear coat so uh, much easier to do in leather. All right, so uh, I am on my way with this project, and uh, I'll keep you updated as it goes. Have a blessed day, y'all.